Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this module, I want to have a quick look at how to do an email newsletter. So I've got Publisher open and you can see there that there's an email newsletter ready to go. You can't see it on your machine, you'll have to go to more templates on the right to see these, but now I can see it, so I'm going to just click on that. And then it asks me to create this. It takes a couple of seconds to load up. You can see it's slightly different to a normal publication. It's quite thin. You can go down deeper than this and make it as big as you, you require. But as always, you need to edit this publication. So what I'm going to do is just check what I've got in business information. So if I go to the file tab and info, I can see business information. And then this has got my information in there. So that's good. I can just pull that information through into any documents. Just close that, take it back. And now logo, replace with the logo. So I'll just delete that and insert my own picture, my own logo. That one will do. And then obviously that's too big, so I'll bring that right down. And position that where I want it to go. Now what you've got to be careful of with all these templates is that you don't leave any generic text that's left from the wizard. So just push that into the top corner. This little symbol that comes up means you can swap this picture with another picture on the document. But I just want to quickly go through these boxes and just remind people of what they all mean. So everything is sitting inside either a text box or a picture frame or a table frame in Publisher. And quite often things sit on top of each other. So for example, this is a text box. If I move that across, I've moved the text, which is sat on another box, which is just colored in gray to give it an effect. And then that is sitting on top of that. What perhaps I should do or would do normally is just click those two with my shift key and then group and make them into one item so then if i move move it they go together that's normally what you would like to see and and then what you've got to be careful of when you're using publisher even though this is just generic text when you put your own text in there you get these little arrows which links to another text box so these are just linked text boxes if i go to the top and click on the text box box tab this is what this is all about so you can go to the previous one or you can click this little arrow and it'll just jump between the two now what you've got to be aware of if I make this small you get these little dots which means you've got text in overflow basically this text box isn't big enough to, to display this information so you would either create another another text box and link it or you would delete some of the text that's in there so if I click on that one and then just draw another text box and this is how you can then link this so if I click create link and then you get this little cup of coffee I like to say that and then click it in there and then that has now created a second text box which is linked to this so you, you get the little arrow that jumps back and forward and that one takes me back up to the top and so all these three text boxes are now linked together and if I come further down I've got an image now if I insert another image, because I want to quickly talk about what this little symbol does. If I just insert another image so I can show you so picture, this banner will do. So I move this banner to the bottom and then you can click this and it should swap positions with the other picture. Like that. And that's not great because it's squashed a little bit in that, in that box, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. Now to do the actual email merge, after you've created your letter, changed all this text, made sure you've got rid of anything that is generic. You then need to go into the mailings tab and select the type of document you want, email merge. Then you have to go and get the database list. So. I've already got some information in an access database table, so that is the one I'm going to get. You could type and create a new list, or you could use a list from Outlook contacts, but this is the one I'm going to choose. Then you need to navigate to where your list is. Mine's in an access database, as I've just said, company records, and it's a table called address details email. There's all the records. 
and you can filter at this stage if you want and sort at this, at this stage you can take these things off you can select individual items like you can in excel and like you can in word this box is the same as word click ok to that i'm not going to do anything and then you've got the option of inserting individual parts of your address lists into this document if you want to or as an address block you might want to put an address block anywhere in the top of this you might need to create a space for that there's not much space on this for an address block so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to leave that off but you could equally get rid of this top bit or this little bit and put an ad a text box there and then insert the address but because we're doing this as an email that's probably something you would do on a on a mailed document but if, as an email i don't think you need to do that same with the greetings line you might want to put that in there um you might do that actually if i just get rid of the title and just put a greeting line in there so greeting line and then click on preview results so it's going to say dear mr smith's like a little title to the person make it a bit more personalized and then as you come across um you've got the record navigators there where you can go forward through the different records to see if it's working correctly which it is and then the final step is to finish and merge now normally if you're doing this to a, a publication that was going to be mailed you would use this option rather than the printer and then you would send um, individual ones to individual people but because we're doing email you do this you click on that one it's picked up that we have a field in our table with emails in it so that's correct that's the right field so all you have to do is give it a title so i'll call this training information or whatever you want to put there and then you click on send it then says you are about to send 13 email message do you want to continue i don't want to continue but normally you would click ok to that and then it would just send these messages and that is how you do uh, an email letter using microsoft publisher so that's the end of this session i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one thank you for your time